of Baltimore and we are here today at the corner of Pratt and Light Street for Color the Streets. It's a live mural installation by a local mica artist named Grant Lindahl. He along with a team of helpers because he could not do it without a lot of extra hands uh, will be here all day. It's Monday August 13th and um, the mural started at 3 a.m. and it'll go until about 6 or 7 p.m. depending upon oh lots of factors but mostly just how fast they can get all the intricate details done. This process is brought to downtown by the Downtown Partnership of Baltimore. We decided a couple of months back that we wanted to do something cool to activate uh, this busy intersection of Pratt and Light Street. And we came up with a live mural installation. So we put together a request for proposal and we sent it out to Micah and Towson, and the University of Baltimore, and a couple of our art contacts like Promotion in the Arts. And we got a couple of RFPs back and we ended up picking Grant's work. We really liked the downtown Baltimore icons that he included in his design and his work ethic and he just had the best proposal so we selected him to be here today to do this installation. looking for a job and I was checking my school's website for art jobs because I thought it'd be kind of cool to have an art job and I would submit a bunch of stuff and I saw on the posting that they were looking uh, for somebody to do a mural in the Inner Harbor, the downtown partnership, uh, not lo a local nonprofit. and I submitted my first ever grant application to them, a, uh, I think it's called an RFD or something and that was back in May and so we had some meetings and I researched a lot about the chalk and stuff, and uh, the, the whole piece is really kind of a stream of consciousness, though it goes through my mind when I go running down here in the Inner Harbor from Bolton Hill. I call it a blitz because uh, I feel like a lot of times Baltimore can be a bit overwhelming. Uh, when I first moved here, it was uh, coming from a farm to a city, and uh, everything's growing really fast, uh, kind of like a blitz. And so I took some collage of iconic things that I thought people would like and put it in my own style. And All the collection of people that have been helping me um, are a combination of MICA students, MICA alumni, and uh, my family, my, my sister, her friend, and my mom and dad uh, that came down from uh, Thurmont, Maryland. The artist community is really great in Baltimore because it's not I don't think it is as competitive as some cities if you go down to like New York, LA, or DC. Uh, people are always willing to help you no matter what for, for nothing and you know they, it really builds a community and that's what I really like about this city and that's why I really wanted to help it. and I work at a Sopano Steakhouse. But Baltimore's only family owned steakhouse right up the road and I just stumbled upon this great mural. Definitely livening up the streets. I like it a lot. I'm in Baltimore my whole life. I support this city. I love this city. It's my favorite city in the world. So it's just great walking by and seeing this go on, see people having a cause, making a movement, spicing it up, livening it up. It just looks great. <laughs> <laughs> 